Hi, I'm Steve. I run a marketing strategy and technology group in Toronto, Canada. And uh, I got to say, it's been a very humbling experience meeting so many of you today. Many of you, probably most of you, have much bigger groups than I do. And, and many of you have much more successful groups than I do in many ways. Um, but there is actually a little bit of a purpose for me speaking. Um, back home, I talk to a lot of people who are not like you guys. Uh, a lot of people who struggle to gain traction with their groups, struggle to find a purpose, struggle to find an audience. Um, they, they, they're, some of them are, are seeking help. Um, in, you know, how do you actually build a good group and how do you take it beyond just being an event planner? How do you actually build community? And I've, I've uh, formed some ideas about that. I'm going to share them with you quickly tonight and I'm really interested in uh, talking with many of you throughout the rest of the weekend to find out, um, you know, maybe what other ideas there may be. Um, I've kind of boiled it down to six things. I think first off, having a clearly defined audience and purpose. So in my case, you know, we are a subset of business to business technology marketing. It's like a subset of a subset of a subset. And, and that's on purpose because I believe that if we spread it really broad and we were like, hey, we're like business, then we're a mile wide and an inch deep and it doesn't mean anything to anyone. Um, those who do choose to participate in our community care really, really deeply about it because, because it's narrow and it's deep. And I see a lot of groups struggling with that. Um, second thing is deliver clear value. I see a lot of groups where they have a meet up every month or whatever because it's that it's, they, that's what they do. They just do one every month, and some of them suck, right? Um, we put a lot of effort in our speakers, our venues, our food, our drink, our promotions, everything to make sure that we delivered amazing value to our clearly defined audience every month or every six weeks or whatever it may be. Um, and I think that makes a huge difference. Always celebrate others. Um, I spend the majority of my time, I seldom pick up a mic at our events, and if I do, it's to thank our venues, thank our sponsors, thank our speakers, thank the people who came out, the, the, the people who helped put it together. Never, ever, ever about me. And, and, and I see a lot of meetup groups uh, leaders making that mistake, kind of making it about themselves. Um, Get social. I, I, this was something that we were really bad at at first. We, we were like so focused on delivering high quality, you know, educational, inspirational events that we weren't creating enough of an environment for people to get really social. And we started to add in more networking, more, you know, whining and dining and schmoozing, and people loved it. And then a couple of people in the group sort of spun off um, with my full enthusiastic support, spun off a monthly social get together where there are no speakers and there are no sponsors and everything. It's only social and it's been a wonderful compliment to the group. So get social if you're not already. Some of your groups are all about being social, but if you're a business group, get social. Um, help others achieve their goals. Uh, in this case, because we do uh, bring together people that are in a very specific part of the economy, uh, we help them find jobs. We help them hire each other. Um, you know, uh, Durham, you talk about you know mar marriages, and well, we're, we're forming business marriages, right? People are getting hired. People are finding new jobs. It's awesome, and it just really brings the community together. And also think long term. Um, you know, I haven't made a penny from the group. I've had many opportunities to monetize it. I've said no to a lot of sponsors. The only sponsors I have are ones that are really, really appropriate. I had a tobacco company that wanted to give me money to sponsor. I was like, no, I'm not taking your money. I'm not, I'm just not. I've had other brands that were not relevant. No, I'm not taking your money. You know, the long term, we're building a community that people feel really, really invested in. And the moment it looks like I'm doing it for my, you know, to fill my own jeans or, or for my own ego or anything like that, it's going to crash and burn. And, and I, I've found that when I talk to struggling group leaders about these six things, I do see some lights go on in their heads. So I'm sure that none of you in the room need this help. You already know this, but I'm sure that others turn to you for guidance and support. And perhaps this sort of framework might help you to help them. So thank you very much.